All right, here we are at the Crown Point Mill. Going to give you a brief uh, tour of the facility. I'm going to start with this funny looking little uh, machine right here. This is actually the zinc feeder. At the very beginning of the process, the ore would come in and it'd be crushed and then come in through a conveyor belt lower in the wall over here. And it would come underneath and it would make its way into the ball mill. It's a six, Marcy 66, it's rated at 125 tons an hour, driven by 125 horsepower uh, electric motor. As the ore would come into the ball mill, two other things would be introduced. They would introduce cyanide solution, and that would come from that tank on the far side. The cyanide would be there in a liquid form and then would be mixed into the holding tanks with water to get the right concentration and then from there would be introduced as the ore is being uh, ground in the ball mill. Now cyanide, if you don't watch it, will produce hydrogen cyanide gas which is very dangerous and so to keep that from happening they would add lime which would uh, keep the pH above 11.5 I believe is where they usually kept it. So they'd fill the, fill the feeder, the feeder would feed lime in and so that's uh, keeping things safe. The ball mill would crush it. On the far side of the ball mill is the classifier. It's a rake style classifier. Don't see them used much anymore. Basically if it was not ground to fine enough uh, consistency to go through the rest of the process then it would be brought back up and reground using this rake style classifier. Now after the ore was ground and then it was uh, to a small enough size and I understand they used to grind it to 80 mesh then it would go into the first thickener tank which you see down below there and there it would be um, it would, the solids would, would be allowed to settle to the bottom and the uh, liquid with the dissolved gold and silver in the cyanide solution would come all the way up to the launder or the tray that's around the edge you can see it would overflow into there and from there go to the gold recovery area usually they'd get 60 to 65 percent recovery at this stage now we know where the solution's going it's going to the gold recovery area but the solids would sink to the bottom the rake that's down inside the uh, thickener would bring it to the middle and then from there it would be pumped over into the agitator tanks which are over there. I'm going to move down closer and take you through the rest of the process.